Howdy, hey everybody, my name is Silver Knight. I am coming into the world of Guild Wars 2 from the perspective of a long-time World of Warcraft player. This series chronicles my journey through the world of Tyria, which I did actually kind of have to look up because I kind of didn't know the name of the world, but you know, the more you know. And all of its bumbling, falling off cliffs and getting killed in incredibly stupid ways glory. I hope you enjoy. You know, it's kind of funny. I'm, at this point, level 72. And I don't think I've actually been in a, uh, normal, like, a at-level zone. Like, a zone where I'm clearly designed to be at that level. Since level, like, 40, I think. Uh, because I literally just do the dailies. I do the dailies and then I just kind of call it good. Where? You were, like... Oh no, I have to go. I have to go to Ore Town. Oh. Oh, we're gonna. I guess we're gonna go down here and then run our way up. And by the way, that's a good thing. Having the ability to just kind of level while doing what you want is, is cool. And immediately I'm sort of transposing that into like, what would happen if WoW did that? Well, you'd have a lot of noobs at max level who don't know what the hell they're doing. But then again, that's also the game's fault for not teaching you things along the way. I will say that Guild Wars 2 thus far seems to do a very good job with at least attempting to teach its players about mechanics. You know, there are even in lower level areas, you know, we're talking like newbie towns, level 1 to 12 towns. There are monsters that have mechanics that you kind of have to pay attention to or else you just get raffle stomped which is good that's what should happen you know that's how you make engaging gameplay by having gameplay be engaging like there has to be some measure of challenge or else it's just not fun but i like the fact that i can just kind of explore and do random dailies or whatever and just level up kind of however the hell i want i'm not forced onto a singular path and as much as i like final fantasy 14 story because it is fantastic I do ultimately kind of think that's a downside. I know why they do it. I understand why that's why they do it the way they do it. So that way they can introduce new concepts to you as you level. So you're not stuck with, oh my god, what are all these things? And you end up getting overwhelmed or what have you. It's the, 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 I was going to say the gentle unlock process. Having said that, you know, sometimes you just don't want to do this shit. Exactly. Like, you're guided, but it's not- it's not intrusive. Oh my god. That was an interesting screen. Firstborn, it is an honor to see you again. Oh. Tegwin, Karis, I'm glad to see you both, but I come with um. urgent news. You are needed. It's all again, isn't it? Oh no, what's happened now? Assuming something is supposed to spawn there. After we saved our village, Karis and I felt the call to continue fighting against all. It has become our wild hunt. A proud duty. Tegwin, I'm sure you remember the mirror that washed up on the beach near the village of Anwin. I remember it. I also remember how its magic forced me into awe, and the terrors I saw in that dark land. I didn't like awe at all. It felt like Zaitan's teeth were closing around me the whole time we were there. But we're safe here, right? Yeah, about that. I'm sorry, Karis, but that's no longer true. Zaitan has attacked Lion's Arch. Claw Island has fallen and the city may be next. Oh no! Oh, tumbling turnips! Lion's Arch? It can't be. Tegwin, you and Karis have seen the dragon's evil firsthand. We need you to be part of the Derman Priory's effort to save the city. Trahern, I want to help, but we have duties here. There's a champion of Zaitan in this swamp, and we've sworn to destroy her. Go so kill them, then we'll person. Help. We'll enter the swamp with you and clear it out for good. Kill the champion, then kill Zaitan. Save the cheerleader, save the world. Some folks like more hand-holding, some don't. Yeah, I can see why. Like, it's a, it's a personal preference thing. I like, I like Final Fantasy XIV story, and I generally like why they do the way that they do. You know, even though it is a much more guided experience, you know what I mean? It's almost kind of restrictive if you're not used to it. 
but it can be also a uh... hello hello mr undead swarm i'm standing in the bad hello we uh we kill things now yes it's a much more guided experience you know generally speaking i don't i'm not against it i understand exactly what they're trying to do and why and i can appreciate it you know it does make a good guided sort of it's a curated experience i guess you could say um so i i like the fact that it gives you a very highly curated experience you know and it's not just you know this like shit stain of a leveling experience but at the same time if you've done it more than once and i mean admittedly the thing the reason it works so well for final fantasy 14 is really you're only supposed to do it once you know you're really not supposed to repeat it and on only repeat ventures are you like yeah this kind of gets like kind of restrictive because i've always been i've already been here but you know it's a first time thing it's really cool but there are times I just want to run around and kill shit. Like, if I get home from work, I don't want... I don't have the brain power dedicated to going through story. I just want to run around and kill shit. That, that's it. You read my mind. Protected. I know there's supposed to be an option that lets me aim that kind of, like, wherever I want. But, frankly, it's just easier for me at the outset to have this set up in such a way that I can just click the button and make things go. Destroy the final undead swarm. Okay, so I guess it's over this way. Here, guys. Y'all coming with? Yeah? Cool. I do also appreciate here that there's like this this slow incremental increase in my character's power and importance you know i'm i'm now leading these charges whereas before i was just kind of there as a part of it oh that's pretty well i mean ignore the zombies for a second never mind i can't ignore the zombies because you're going to see them on the screen you'll see them in the screenshot that just that just won't do You. I like me some hammers. Uh. Listen, do you hear that? It's their master, Zaitan's lieutenant. She's the one that drives these attacks. Her name is Herboza the Wretched, and she's quite creepy. Mold in your mouth, creepy. Once she's defeated, the undead will scatter. Ready like your weapons. Creepy. That screen is getting closer. Do you hear what I hear? Oh, that is a uh, really unpleasant sound, isn't it? But I, I want to take screenshot. God damn it. Fine, come here. Need to die. Die faster so I can... Die faster so that way I can just continue taking my screenshot, please. I really don't care if this is actually technically underpowered. I just think it's the coolest fucking thing. Kills life, transfers conditions, plagues when attacked. How about no? Yeah! Farewell, Herboza. May your spirit find rest in the mists. So then me. The mists, which are far from the dragon. Very, very far. Lucky Herboza, really. Thank you for aiding us. At last, I feel the abatement of my wild hunt's call. The danger here is over. Yeah, right. Tegwin. How dare they photobomb my scene what Zaitan scenic can do firsthand. photography. We need you, and those like you, to come and fight. Ever since our first journey into Orr, Silvari from the Caledon Forest have sought us out, wanting to defeat Zaitan. You fought with them today. They're a stalwart group, and loyal. If Karis and I aid you, they'll come as well. Hell yeah, give if me an army. If you battle train Silvari with experience in Orr, what more could we ask for? Thank you. We'll see you in Lion's Arch. Hell yeah. 
I'm concerned. The Orions are entrenched. It will be incredibly difficult to regain Claw Island. Fuck the island, just we make sure the city doesn't die. Turn. I haven't lost hope. In fact, I'm counting on hope to lead the way. I feel that we should ask for wisdom from the Pale Tree. Cannot if anyone hope. knows how to defeat Zaitan, it is the mother. Meet me at the grove, and we'll speak with her before the battle. Okay. Alright, so. Now, if you will excuse me. It, it, it. Now the UI is photobombing me? God damn it. Okay, now, if you will excuse me. Charge! You. Yep. There we go. See? See how nice it looks when there's not swarms of undead just making it all ugly looking and shit? Oh, I leveled. Neato. Crafting materials, things and stuff and whatnot. Uh, gotta lean over to see this corner of my screen. Alright, so I have to see the pale... Tr triple trouble. Oh, I'm assuming that is... I'm assuming this is World Boss Town? Huh, okay. There's a, there's a lot of world bosses in this game, holy shit. I mean, to be fair, there's like a lot of world bosses in WoW too, but they're all fucking irrelevant. Okay, uh... I don't think I'm gonna be able to stay streaming for much longer, but let me... You know, before I forget... Let me go... Back to Tree Town. And try to sort out my inventory, because otherwise... I am going to forget. I know myself. Oh, and if anyone's wondering, I'm going to turn this off. I'm wearing this, like, I don't think anybody is. But this is, like, this weird, like, I think it's made of Sherpa. It's a Sherpa coat. Or at least I think it was designed to be some sort of coat or over, like, a throw or, you know, something like that. It is so warm. So warm. I mean, I don't, I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what the hell Sherpa is, but it's very soft and very warm and I like it. And it has kept me nice and toasty in this, uh, you know, bitter 45 degree weather that Texas is having. Uh -huh. um, tongue literally in cheek. Can't sell that. Uh... That's garbage. Okay, can't do that. Chain melt foot gear, sure. I think it's supposed to be I think the the uh, general thought process is if it's under two silver, don't even bother selling it, etc. etc. But like lazy. Oh, okay. Ah shit, I did not want to list that. Oh well. I guess I'll find out later. Uh, uh. Now, list item. Can't wear that, but hey, cool. 16 silver out of it. Add it to your account and you can have that mini follow you around from the hero panel. I think I already have... I think I have this already. Mini locked. I think I already have at least one of those. Uh, Berserker Chain Helm. Sure, why not? Bag of pinched goods. Sure. People will buy it, I suppose. Not really sure what's in there, but I'm assuming... I'm, I'm working under the assumption that use a constructive ram build site. I mean, if I need to rebuy it, it's 35 freaking copper, so I think I'll be fine. Let's see. 
Tiny icy bag. Door. Medallion of the soldier. QQQ. Bit of metal scrap. So what are the trophies for? Is that a thing? I mean, other than just buying the trophies to hand into an NPC to finish the little heart quests more easily. Developmental materials. Dashes. Anytime now, buddy. Anytime now. Saved a decent amount of space. There's a lot of stuff I still have to go through, but at least that's a good starter point, I think. Not throw trophies out if you have the heart complete. I mean, I'm planning to. It's just I, I throw them up in the auction house and it's like instant sale. 37 copper. And I'm like, it's 37 copper that I wouldn't get if I throw... Ah, they, okay. I mean, I saw you could open them up, but I was just kind of like, eh, whatever. Okay, cool. So they may actually have things that are what useful. May I offer you? Good to know. Killing. Sell. Sell. Um. It feels so weird to be selling things that are... Gold. I mean, are they just straight up called, like, yellows? I don't... Huh? Wah. Do I have... Farewell. Do I have this... Like... Transmog? Well, I may as well sell it now, because I just equipped it. Huh. This is making my brain hurt looking at this. I'm going to be real with you. Where is the pale tree? What was your favorite? You. Oh wait, the pale tree is above. Pale tree is above. Yeah. Upper comments. Wait, that's the one I wanted to go to. I think. Yes. Okay. There it is. You'll get their skins. Oh, okay. That's good to know. That's so you don't necessarily have to equip it. You can just salvage it and you get the... Okay, that's cool. That That is that is very player-friendly. I like that. I can dig that. Okay. Hail, Mother. We seek your wisdom. What's up, Mom? Wait a while. I have much to show you both. Okay. Come to me. Let me show you the way. Okay. Mother Tree, I am sure by now you have heard of the destruction at Claw Island. Zaitan is attacking in force. The soul of Tyria mourned as her children were cut down by the beast. The land wept and the world shuddered. My friend and I seek to right that wrong. We wish to fight Zaitan and take back what was lost. We've come to ask your counsel. The answer is at the heart of Tyria's future, and your own. Both of you must face the darkness, become guiding stars in the night. Is it even possible to defeat Zaitan? Only with great courage. Come, I will show you a vision of your future, and the challenges to come. Instance? It is time, my brave friends. Your future awaits. Oh, hell yeah. I love shit like this. Travel. I want to see. I want to see how OP I get. Dystopian future, go! War is a dark and foul place. Even though I have been here, in truth, this vision is unsettling. Let us hurry. The Pale Tree has lessons yet to be revealed. Uh -oh. They say that Orr was once beautiful. A nation to rival Kryta, Ascalon, and Ilona. The human gods lived in the city of Arar, and the people here were blessed. After the gods left, the humans banded into guilds and warred upon each other. Sounds about the right. Guild wars caused great devastation, and the nations faltered. Guild 
Cold Wars. That's where the name comes from. Okay. So are they not going to attack me? Damn it, now I'm going to actually have to freaking play Gold Wars 1. I have it. I think I have a couple of accounts, actually. Hey, Miss Avatar Lady. Where does this road lead, Mother? To the ancient city of Ara, the Dragon's stronghold. That is your goal. Along the way, you will glimpse things that may yet come to pass. Hey. Right? Yeah, this is some dystopian hellscape shit right here. On the real. Oh, so now you choose to attack me? That's fine. Protected. I'm gonna have to play Guild Wars 1. Damn it! Yo! Look, Mr. Weapon. Okay, there's only enough room for one hammer. That's gonna be me. Thank you. I mean, it's definitely a dead ass land. Are formidable, tougher than the ones at Claw Island. How will we defeat them? Alone, you cannot. But with unity, you will find that many impossible things can be achieved. Through the power of friendship. Oh yeah, it sank into the ground. That's why there's all the crustaceans. Oh uh, yeah. Raven Blight. Okay. Kind of creepy, though. Not gonna lie. Get your hair in your Okay, good. Alright, good. What's up? Defenders of Tyria, when Zaitan rose from slumber, the dragon found a long-dead nation and claimed it. The dragon expected the rest of Tyria to be as easily conquered. But we live, and we breathe, and we fight. All races, all orders, and all paths of life stand against Zaitan. The dragon is a fearsome enemy. It wants nothing more than to paralyze us with doubt. But I tell you this, we are not afraid. We will never kneel. Oh, something is angry. That? The dragon hears us. Yeah, and he's Hurrah! pissed. And victory. Is this a vision of the future? Mother, I do not understand. I'm no general. You must be what Tyrion needs you to be, my son. You have more courage than you realize. Well, that sucks. Alright. I'm not a leader. You have to be a leader. Ah, oh, there's battle music. What are we doing? Oh, what's up? Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm just curious as to why the names are gray. To be honest with you. We're gonna pop out Mr. Druid because he's awesome like that. All right, so Traherne, uh, my dude. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, that hurt. Um, don't know really what that was, but it hurt. I probably should, I don't know, read what the things underneath them say, but that would require anything. Okay, so homeboy is very scary. Okay, so they basically just don't die. Okay. So what about you, Mr. 
veteran dude. Especially since I got Mr. Druid Spirit doing his thing. Knocks down, throw grubs, inflicts vulnerability and poison. Oh, didn't realize that was a button. So control two is turn. Okay, good to know. Oh shit, he is, he is facing my direction and I do not like that. Get wrecked, good sir. Do I go back to Swamp Land and I talk to Mama Tree? All right, Mama Tree, what you got? The past taints the future. Our heroes have fallen. They must be redeemed. You talking about the you old people? Are the catalyst. You must bring them together, heal their wounds. Including ours, right? Including Kate. Where oh. were you? We needed you. Smith. I couldn't protect you. I can still hear it screaming. Someone was going to die no matter what I did. Snaff or my queen. I had to make a choice. You would have done the same. Any of you, if the person you loved was in danger, you would have done the same. Destiny's Edge disbanded after their loss against the Elder Dragon, Kralkatorik. To this day, they have unresolved grievances with one another. Fair reason. What about you guys? Here's Skullkin? It was your responsibility. Snaff trusted you, and you failed him. I tried to keep him out of danger. I would have given anything to prevent his death. It wasn't enough. You weren't enough. You should have died, Air, instead of him. Logan Damn. Logan was called away by his queen. Yet Air chose to fight the Elder Dragon. They lost. Glint died, along with Snaff, Soja's mentor and friend. That's kind of that's kind of what I'm gathering out of it, yeah. They've tried so very hard. They can't stop arguing. They can't understand that the dragons are more important. They throw everything away. Alone. I'm tired. Come back to me. If the world must end, let us spend our last days in each other's arms. These visions represent a possible future for Destiny's Edge, should they not resolve their quarrels. We need them to reconcile, if we're to defeat Zaitan. I mean, I, I feel, I feel for Kate. Where was uh, I? Oh yes, the Guild Wars. Still angry over the loss of Ascalon, the Char struck hard while humanity fought with itself. The Char ravaged Ascalon with searing cauldrons and marched on ore. As hope failed, an Orion named Vizier Kilbron read the Lost Scrolls and unleashed an ancient curse. The curse annihilated the Char army, but it destroyed Ore as well. A cataclysm plunged the nation into the ocean. Everything was lost. Whoops. Ah, so that's where the beginning of Guild Wars 1 starts, huh? Okay. Oh. <laughs> I want that. Okay, I guess I guess the dailies rolled over. Apparently it rolls over at 6 p.m. Okay. I hear that the dungeons do that. I, I have to get to them eventually. But I'm kind of enjoying the uh the solo play for now. Me trying to immediately try to find vistas. Fucking cool looking though. See that over there? Hang on a second. Ah, six or seven, whatever. Okay, that makes sense. I didn't realize it was actually so late in the day. I kind of figured it would be like a 3 a.m. thing, the way most other MMOs do it. Let me up. Yep. 
You know what, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. I get the feeling that maybe I'll soft lock if I get caught somewhere I'm not supposed to be. But I'm gonna do it anyway. After all, the game's about exploration, right? This is the tomb of the kings of Or. Walk inside and seek truth, but be warned, the future can change in the blink of an eye. Let's go as a vision. And you know, free will versus predetermination, I'd pick free will like a hundred times out of a hundred. So Roll over different times and weekly stuff roll over midday Tuesday. Huh. Alrighty. Good to know. I have Zaitan, huh? Uh, buddy. I can barely stand. Oh no, he's got the fucking Cthulhu eye beam. Of course he does. Christ. Just press all of the fucking buttons. Press all of the things. Stop nuking me, you asshole. Sword of Justice hits real friggin' hard, and I like it. All right. Get wrecked, I of Sauron. Hey, buddy. To see the sky. Feel once more the wind and the sun. Although my nation is drowned, a slow blood still pulses in its veins. Or was once the heart of Tyria, so full of life. I was the last of a line of proud rulers. Now my nation is enslaved. My God, you Would can see you his eyeballs. Here? Or has nothing left to give, save ash and bones. We came to fight Zaitan. Can you give us counsel? Zaitan can be defeated, but that will not save Or. The land must be cleansed of this poison. Seek the source. Is Zaitan the source, or is there some other poison that fouls Or? Please tell us. Seek the source. Cleanse Or. Seek the source. Totally does it. Help me. Oh, don't you love it when they're deliberately vague? Seek the source of what? <laughs> Am I allowed to ask some clarifying questions here? It was Zaitan, the elder undead dragon that pulled Or from the depths. The massacre of Or gave the dragon fertile ground to create its horrific army. Zaitan's power does not end here. In slaughter, its army grows stronger. Claw Island was just the beginning. The dragons are destruction. They will not stop until all life on Tyria is destroyed. Well, that sounds like a rip roaring freaking good time. Okay. 
Dragon bad, got it. This is freaking cool looking now. I bet it looked even cooler when it wasn't, you know, sunk into the sea for like a hundred years. What? Compass Plaza, huh? <laughs> That's fun. Promenade of the Gods. Day. Why did the music just change? Your last challenge on the road to Ara will be the guardian of the gate. Beyond this, I cannot foretell. Once before, I gave this sword to a beloved son. Now, I pass oh, it on to Kalibog. you. Oh, Its name is Kalibog. Bear it with honor, and the sword will never fail you. Hey. Test yourselves against the guardian, then return to me in the grove. I like it when stories are called back upon one another. Okay, well. All right, Traherne. I actually appreciate the fact that the chosen one is not me. I did not get Kalidbog. The NPC who was going to be the foretold general got Kalidbog. I'm just here to, you know, be a bodyguard and shit. I like that. All right, Mr. Gate Guardian. Death. Narthex. Protected. What the hell kind of a name is that? Get out the way. Ooh, bitch. Get out the way. Not enough endurance. Get out the way. Music is badass, though. I like it. Okay. Protected. Right, Mr. Druid ability. That's right. Thanks some hits, my dude. Never mind. Yeah. Once more you stand on sacred ground. Remember what you have seen. Speak with me, and I will guide you. All right, what do you got? Or has it all stripped strip from it? Not the dragon, you must first overcome the greatest fear lest you be consumed. What do you fear? Person of blue die because I couldn't save them. Oh, this is basically saying of the three stories, which one probably do you want to go to first? That I would fail so grievously that I would lose the respect of my comrades and be dishonored. That an innocent person who believed in me would die because I couldn't save them. That's ear. That I would fail so grievously that I would lose the respect of my comrades and honored uh that's probably logan that one day through my actions i'd condemn someone to suffer in agony we're a good person seek to protect an innocent shows your gentle heart hold fast so that earnestness will also be your strength okay To know the future, even the mere possibility, can be a great burden. I am sorry, brave heroes, that you must walk this path. Must these things come to pass, Mother? Must I take up Kalidbolg and travel into the heart of Orr? You must both take up this mantle. Traherne, your duty is to cleanse Orr. Your friend shall aid you, and then face the dragon. 
and Claw Island. Can we retake it and save Lion's Arch? That's pretty small for us. I believe so. But that will not be your first test. The dragon seeks to destroy its enemies before they can strike. I see within the dream that Zaitan's forces enter battle. Not against Lion's Arch, but at the heart of your order. My order headquarters? No, how could that be? How could Zaitan even know? Fear and... Those who have been corrupted reveal everything to Zaitan. Nothing is secret, least of all those places where his enemies hide. If my friends are in danger, I have to go to them. They have no warning. They'll be slaughtered. I will go with you. Our fates are bound together. And from this day forward, we fight as one. Farewell, valiant souls. May your wild hunt be successful. And may your courage illuminate the dark of night. Blackline delivery agent. Not bank from anywhere. Bank from anywhere, yes, please, and thank you. Sweet. Okay. Boop. How does one pick their favorite cabbage? Eeny meeny miny mo. Best best that I could figure, at least. Okay. It's been I dropped any frames? No, I have not. Hot damn. All right, I've not dropped a single freaking frame so far. Nice. So yeah, again, this was kind of like a, uh, a proof of concept, as it were. I'm trying to see if my cell phone could work as a camera, as a webcam, that is, and actually still maintain literally anything. I was hoping that by having this weird jank cord set up, uh, that I would be able to make sure that there's not going to be any issues with it going forward because I actually have a uh, I sort of accidentally have a much better phone that I can use I for that purpose because this one's apparently only like I've been away. 8 Genre megapixels I don't know what that means apparently the Did you see the uh, on your the webcam right here is only like 2 megapixels or something I mean it looks perfectly fine much. like even putting it on full screen like I, I think, whoops. You know, even putting it full screen, I think it looks perfectly fine. You know, when it gets to low light situations, it looks, it looks kind of gnarly. Uh, but even for here, like, this at full, you know, at full 1080p, I think actually looks fine. It's probably a little bit more washed out in terms of the colors, but also, like, it's usually not quite that red. I think the saturation of this one is a little bit worse, I suppose. But, you know, I think this actually looks like a... Oh, I just fucked that up completely. <laughs> Whoops. It... So, uh... Hang on a I was not trying to actually break that. I was not trying to break that, uh, whoopsie doodle, um, but, uh, not that bad looking. I mean, if I needed to use this as, like, an emergency webcam or something like that, it's actually, like, quite doable, um, and it's kind of sad that I know that now, because otherwise it would have been like, oh, hey, I, I would have felt less pressure to buy a better camera. Oh, excuse me. I'm trying. I'm trying not to shine up the camera. I'm trying not to break my stuff. That's why I'm I'm messing around with all of this stuff. Cause I mean, like, you know, I mean, for for a webcam, like, I think this actually looks, you know, pretty good, especially in good lighting. Um, I want to go spy on them. But I think that this one might look, might be a little bit better. I think, at least when it's, at least when it's wired up. Cause I, I got a supremo like, I got a supreme jank setup. Like, I, I let me. Let me see if I can do this without breaking. We're so, the so there is my cell phone. The there is the cord I know, but I'm leading to, see to like boring. the front of my to the front of my stuff. I think it's closer to here. I think. 
why I can't have nice that yeah it's okay that's close to level um like I said this is definitely not going to stay that way this was pure I've proof of concept because I wanted to yeah, see if it actually worked or not um I saw in the mist but uh I thank you guys for the stream I appreciate you stopping by let me get my face off the camera um like it like it necessarily matters um but thank you all for stopping by I appreciate it um I would say, oh, I'd like to stream tomorrow. Like, I'm not going to freaking stream tomorrow. I know myself. Uh, I still got stuff to do, basically. Um, but uh, it was nice nice hanging out. You know, anybody watching this on YouTube, uh, this is, I, uh, you know, I stream on Twitch TV forward slash SilverKnight16. Anybody watching this now, I do put a lot of this and have, well, usually have other content on YouTube.com forward slash SilverKnight16. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of that's in hiatus because right now I just don't have a whole lot of time to do any sort of gaming um and you know getting things set up is kind of being a pain in the ass hence all of this crap right here but i appreciate y'all stopping by thank you um and i will see y'all next time if i can figure out where the buttons go there they are i'll see y'all next time peace out <laughs>